I'm going to be voting for Joe. They're going to be voting for Donald. And I'm not going to hate them for what they think. They're not going to hate me for what I think. At the end of the day, we're all still going to be family, you know? I'm Evan Mosshart. I'm 20 years old, and I was born here. Not here, not in this cave, but in California. I wouldn't really say that I have a career, but I was traveling doing model work, so I guess you could put that down. So right now, I'm staying with my grandparents on their ranch, and I'm gonna be here until I can save up enough money and move back out to New York. The ranch is about an hour, 45 minutes, northwest of Los Angeles, just in the middle of the desert. I live with a bunch of old people, and they all have semi-different backgrounds. A lot of them come from labor work. Like, my grandfather is a pile driver. He built bridges and blew up dams. He was raised by cowboys, so everyone in my family is super independent, and we're always going to be very independent. And I think that just kind of left its mark on me with wanting to be independent. I don't think that my political views are shaped by my family because they're different from my family's. My family is very conservative and I'm not very conservative at all. You know, moving around a lot when I was a kid, I got to live with everybody, experience a whole bunch of different things and I think that kind of bred it in. I just lived my life. I went out and talked to people, I listened to people, I hear what they say and I take it in and analyze it for myself. There's a definite lack of critical thinking in our generation. We don't really take the time to sit down and think things. We just get our thoughts handed to us. And then that is our thought. That's what we think about it because that's what it says right there. We don't actually take the time to sit down and think, well, what if it's wrong? I think I learned that from living here. You know, just all the different voices I get to hear from all the different people that are in here and just take in their opinions and formulate it to how it compares to me. Every day, we're disagreeing and fighting and arguing. And, you know, it's not like he doesn't understand my points and I don't understand his points, but the generational gap, which we're experiencing in the world right now, is way more extreme than it has ever, ever been. So a lot of the ideas that our generation throws out and brings out, they, older people aren't gonna understand and I don't think that they really can understand unless they were already understanding before. And I think a big part of why it can't change his viewpoints is because he watches fucking Fox News all day and reads Facebook. And I think that us kids our age do the exact same thing. We look at what we see on Instagram, we look at what our social media shows us, and we do the exact same thing. We make hard line opinions on something that might not even be true, you know? You know, I wasn't going to vote. I wasn't going to vote at all. I thought the whole election was bullshit. And I don't think it's going to make a difference. But I realized maybe a week and a half ago that I should vote, you know? Because even if it doesn't make a difference or make a change, I want to vote which, uh, which, with which party aligns with my wants. What made you come to that realization? <laughs> I saw an Instagram post that said, quit slacking around, just go vote. And I was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> How does it make you feel that Evan and you are both going to be voting for different people in this up and coming election? Voting for different people in this up and coming election. I don't care. It's your misfortune and none of my own. Why should I worry about his problem? He's got to straighten up himself. I'm already straight. Everybody has their own perception of what is real. Who said what to who? And then, oh, I believe that, or oh, no, I don't believe that. And that's our problem. We have to be able to sit down at the table, argue and scream at each other, and come up with being friends still, and, and having an edge uh, shaved off of the problems we've got, right? Just to be able to cut into the meat to make the problem work, right? And that's what we have to do. If we can't sit down and we can't try to be statesmen and try to have our pride and our ideas too, well, we got a lot of trouble. We win. We won. We won. We never practiced losing. No.
why would we practice losing? It's like practicing missing. Why would you practice missing? You would. You want to go out in the El Camino? Get shots of that. January 4th, 2019 in New York. You think your mind is free because you have free thought, but you're locked in thinking about the free thought that you have and why you have it, or may not, rather than actually using your own free thought and thinking freely. Our choice is offered, or our choice is fed. Stop caring, you'll find what you're looking for. Is this prejudice? Was that prejudice? Have I thought about my thoughts yet? Anything can be anything. It all depends on how you look at it. Let's go. Rose petals don't be falling on the floor if you don't want to your flower, babe. Falling out the sky Don't let them hit the flood Water that flower now Water reading it will grow it If you play the game, gon' play to win Shoot your crap, you never know it Baby girl, don't play no games And if he ain't gon' let him